I Will Speak to You Through the Singing Rain by Catherine Wyatt. Anna May is singing in the rain song. In the whisper of night song, she sings, carrying a mystery that will not be known. After a wounded knee of 73, the FBI requested her presence, charging her with possession of firearms. Another one of those terrorists, a classification for those who did not fit the model that was modeled for them. The Second Amendment to the United States Constitution, part of that which protects the United States Bill of Rights, allows people the right to keep and bear arms, adopted in December 15, 1791, along with the rest of Bill of Rights. So who are the people? Who determines who is a threat? A mother of two? Careful. It could be you next. Just keep your silence. Shadows thrown, a cloak of smoke and mirrors surrounding a woman's life, covering her death. Charged with having arms, Anna May, believed to be pursuing her own beliefs at Pine Ridge, was released, expected to show up in court, but she did not. Her body was found along a fence-lined road. The government autopsy stated she died from overexposure due to alcoholism. We all know Indians are all alcoholics. Sounded good anyway. But her people were not convinced that Anna May died by accident. Enigmas and rumors flew as to what happened to a mother of two, the truth buried forever. Unlike Anna May, who was exhumed by those terrorists, her people, they wanted answers to truths hidden in shadows. Anna endured not only death, but two autopsies. As was expected by friends and relations, two gunshots to the back of the skull were found in the second autopsy. Such an agonizing death was not enough. Not enough pain for two daughters left without a mother or for a people for whom a holocaustal plan had long been set in motion. Resistance is a dangerous business. Anna May dances on the other side of the veils, while the veils pulled around her murder closed tighter round the truths. Knowing full well who you were, the FBI demanded your hands be cut from your dead body for identification, like Little Crow, whose body parts were displayed publicly until 1971 by state officials. Who's taking trophies now? Serial murders with badges? Anna dances on Starlet among her people on the other side, far from that moment where Anna Mae was begging for her life in the car, begging for her life all the while she was walking out to that cliff, begging them not to kill her. Anna Mae knew she was in danger. Brother, they are coming for me. Her voice spoke clearly to her blood brother. I will speak to you through the singing rain, the last words he would hear from her. Resistance is a dangerous business when you are not following the models modeled for you and when it is time to say no, no more. They took your life but not your legacy. Anna Mae dances on the rain song as we try to clear the smoke and mirrors that cover the truths of how her flesh was left behind, the planned murder of yet another indigenous mother who dared to stand up for her people, tending to Makaina, Mother Earth, raising her babies, learning the ways of a people fighting to remember who they were before the holocaustal nightmare began. Anna Mae dances on the rain song. While well, here the shrouds of lies that cover realities remain unanswered, and those who know remain silent. <laughs>